Well, hello everyone. This is my last attempt. <laughs> um, so you see here, we have an oil spill. We have a bike out there. Multiple bikes here. But oil spill, let's start with that. Make sure when you are changing your oil, you make sure that drainage plug is screwed right back in. Yeah. All right, there's that. I went out, I got some new spark plugs. When you get a new spark plug, it's going to have this thing on the very end. If you do not know what you are doing, you are going to be trying to shove this in there. It is not gonna fit. So, take it off, it untwists off. I only say this from experience from right now. First time changing these spark plugs and I forgot all about that. So I got spark plugs changed. Didn't fix it. Um, here is some of the old oil. I, uh, put it in here. It's, uh, always best to just put it in an empty container, because then you can just put the cap on, take it to your local auto place, and they will dispose of it for free, usually. Um, yeah, and then there's that crap. So, on to the main event, shall we? First off, I need to fix this light sorry about that breeze let's uh just have me talk a lot louder so my neighbors hear me so past couple days i have been working on this i got this entire side panel taken off all the bolts changed the gasket all that here is a picture right here here is another picture right there here's some gears there you go well, now we're back on. And if you are wondering, the torque specs for all these little bolts is usually anywhere between 7.4 and 10 foot-pounds of torque. Except for these guys. These guys don't need to be torqued down that much. Don't forget about this bolt that's down in here, though. There's going to be a bolt down under here. Um, you're going to have to take the uh, this little lever on. I'll put a picture right here. Um, you got to take that off uh, to get to it. The one inside gets torqued down, yes. Um, so that didn't work. <laughs> um, you're going to have to take this off, the foot peg, the whole assembly. You're going to have to take it off. Um, might not need to take this part off, but it's probably best to do that. Just make sure you take pictures so you can put it back on properly. Um, so you're going to take this off to be able to get rid of the clutch cable, and that will make that easier on you. Just make sure you drain your oil first because it's full of oil right now. And when you go to check your oil, like I did before, I thought, it, oh, it's too much oil. No, you got to stand the bike up straight. It's leaning right now because it's on the kickstand. So, yeah, we uh, changed that out and it did not do the trick. Give this another go. I just don't want to flood it again because, hell, I think I flooded it last time. I had to take the spark plugs out and dry all that. Yeah, that clearly did not. Nope. Now let's give you a sound test down here. It's all coming from like right up in there. Yeah. One more. Nope. <laughs> all I hear is gears grinding. Choke off power off make sure you always shut your power off otherwise you're gonna drain your battery like crazy so i mean that didn't fix it i changed that i put new oil in it full battery all that and it did not do the trick <laughs> i was so tempted to or i was so hoping i was gonna be able to go out and ride this thing today so that's another thing off the list that did not work New spark plugs, fresh battery. Um, got a good amount of gas in there. I just put fresh gas in there yesterday. And, uh, yeah. That's the extent of that. And, I mean, this is a pretty good-sized battery, too. It's not one of those little... It's not lithium-ion or whatever that is, but it's, uh... It's, it's okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. Slightly feels like a failed attempt, but 
it is what it is. It's a learning process. And I learned that <laughs> that is not the issue. The still do not know what the issue is. I'm going to have to maybe take the uh, starter off my other Virago, put it on that and see if that starter is going to work out a bit better. Um, cause I'm pretty sure I'm going to be having my grandfather's bike running before I have the bobber running. So one down, then a couple more. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I'll try to get that one taken off and switched out. But in order to do that, I've got to take the entire side crankcase off and all that. It's a pain in the butt. I really wish it wasn't designed that way. Well, I mean, I can take it out, but there's a little O-ring like a big hoop thing that goes in place. That way the gears all stay lined up. So, yeah. That is the extent of this video. It's not a failed attempt. Well, it is a failed attempt, but at least we were wrenching. <laughs> at least we're out getting some gas and some dirt on our hands and whatnot, but just disappointing. Really, I was thinking I was going to get out there and be able to ride down the street a bit right now and be able to send a video or something to my grandfather letting him know I got the bike running again. He hasn't seen this thing running in quite some time. And I can tell you it's got quite a bit of good miles on it because my grandfather, he was always riding this thing. That's why it's my prized possession right here. This is my baby we'll need to find a name for her too so there we have it another uh video out but nowhere forward <laughs> okay <laughs> don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and hopefully i'll be able to get another video out soon and fingers crossed it'll uh be on the road moving and hopefully I'll have my GoPro thing working out so that I can actually take you on the road with me. <laughs> well, there it is. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.